Equatorial Guinea's president, who holds world record for the time in power for a living head of state, excluding monarchies, was sworn in for a sixth seven year term. The international community, including the U.S. government, have raised concerns over the legitimacy of the landslide victory, and members of the Equatorial Guinea government have reacted to these doubts. The only thing people can expect from this newly re-elected president is to continue the development of our country in all sectors. What the people hope for, and what I personally hope for, is the sustainability of its action in the education sector, in the health sector, in the economic sector and in all sectors of the country and in infrastructure. In power since 1979, Obiang was re-elected in the Central African Oi country, which he rules with an iron fist and in the face of a muzzled opposition. Every country has its own model of democracy. There is no system that governs democracy in absolute terms. In Equatorial Guinea, there is a presidential democracy, a peaceful election. We are pleased that the opposition parties participated and that one of the main candidates in the election came to congratulate us. With more than 43 years at the helm, Obiang holds the record for the longest serving head of state outside of the monarchy. The 80-year-old patriarch leads one of the most closed and authoritarian regimes in the world.